yeah it was actually a pretty cool video uh you put together in in the netherlands there it's pretty cool like how you yeah <laughs> you that Thanks, train. Man. yeah i mean you see that train <laughs> wow, that was pretty cool good one <laughs> yeah, yeah just, just to walk, walk around, around the road with my girlfriend uh so you know um yeah thanks for giving me a quick call um yeah i've gotten my logistics in order on my end about uh cool. I, I i i think uh hearing from you that being a part of the first half is really kind of yeah the the meat of the project it is. um i think uh that this shouldn't be a problem i'm thinking i'm looking at a bus for 10 bucks puts me in Ghent uh, at 10.30 a.m. on Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, would, it, would it be even, I mean, I could go the night before, but do you think it's a real early start? <laughs> do you know? 10.30, well, they're starting at, oh, no, Eight. they're actually, they decided to start like 10 or 11 because they Love wanted it. to overlap more with us. Sounds great. Perfect. So I, I guess where I'm at is there's, there's no way I can turn this down. I mean, I'm, I'm really into the philosophy of your organization and kind of the taking responsibility for some of uh, <clears throat> the material needs mm -hmm. through learning and engagement. So yeah, I'd, I'd love to be a part of it. And uh, yeah. I don't need to take up a ton of your time, but any, just any, uh, any more information about what I should uh, come thinking or what I should uh, prepare or yeah like the mindset the mindset is about um communicating something that i think is really valuable so i think we've got a really good project and product like as the camp itself mm -hmm. and we'd like to really spread it and uh, re starting to get into schools actually we've got a, a thing lined up for summer programs in san diego now where we've got a captive audience but anyway it's the marketing part is is a big deal so to capture mm -hmm. some of the essence and, and how this works is what we need. So we've got this promo video that you might have seen, but we're going to add footage from this event to it. Yep. I don't know if you've cool. seen the event announcement. There's a promo up there. Yeah, I watched the videos on the Steam Camp, you know, the top of the, yeah. the, top of the yeah, page. Yeah. That kind of stuff. So if we could actually make it more real by putting in, because in that video, we didn't really show any of the content that we're actually covering here. It was just the 3D printer beyond that it was this was from another camp that we did and it didn't overlap in the content because right now we pretty much completely reworked it so if we can get some assets where uh, it shows more of the the actual content that we're doing because we're trying to to package it can and clone it so it's very nice and tight and already i think is really tight i mean it's that's the refinement from our learnings from our last event uh mm -hmm. so yeah if we could capture like a big deal is documentation of how we actually build things like the mm -hmm. printer we didn't get a chance to do any video like if it were to be possible for you to actually put together an instructional uh, i don't know if you can do that uh, well the other thing was is the event mostly going to be in english yeah 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 it's all okay it's okay all that, that's good because you know if they were speaking flemish or no. uh, some of, that, some of that Brabant Dutch. I might, well, we've got uh, <laughs> we've got like three or four countries represented, so English is the official language. Yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. um, I guess really then it's just about me cultivating a good relationship with somebody who's gonna be kind of the the main person on the build, so that I can do my best to to capture. Uh, <clears throat> but if the goal is really like an instructional, that's good to know going in instead of just trying to kind of make some. Uh, some compelling uh, footage of the event because that's you know that's a bit more involved and it'll affect that person's build a little bit more to try and really nail it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we could get, I mean, every time it's like the you read in the description, every event builds upon the last one. So every time we just add a few more assets to make this compelling and highly replicable. Yeah. Superman. I mean, I'll I'll just honestly whoever is leading it in yeah. Ghent, I'll just kind of hitch up with them and let them uh, slot me in where it makes sense. I'm not yeah. not going <laughs> to, no, no amount of planning right now is going to matter. Yeah. And as far as, uh, you said you built built a printer before? or uh, No, no. I mean, uh, I, I was just commenting on, uh, yeah, like I, me and my girlfriend did five weeks in Taos, New Mexico on an Earthship build and, you know, we've... <laughs> I renovated a, a, a house in West Michigan with my best friend, so mm -hmm. I, that, that doesn't mean I, I'm on, you know, on the design build spectrum, 
pretty uh, pretty novice overall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, and and by all means, like so. So one is the instructional thing, but yeah, if you could capture some nice images of what's going on there, kind of like in an instructional video where the guy who took it. It was pretty cinematic. Like he he, uh, he knew how to work it, but, but I see you have that skill too. So maybe if you can catch just a little bit of that as well, like if you know as much opportunity as you have. Uh, yeah, say that again. Other than the instructional. Yeah, the... other than the instructional, do the cinematic stuff like you did in your sample. Sure, sample sure. Clip. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Just just get a little bit of that so we can use that in our next promo video, and I'm assuming that you're not uh, so. Yeah, you, you can uh, share all the footage uh, under no. Oh yeah, license. I can. I can. Yeah, definitely. I, yeah. I'm not worried about that. I can give you the, <laughs> the you know. Hopefully, I'll I'll give you just the good clips, so you don't have extra yeah. weight. And yeah. then whatever whatever edit I'm able to put together. Um, yeah. Do you have um, a timeline in mind? Because I've got, I've got quite a lot of responsibilities in my kind kind of day to day. So this would be a, a weekend type gig. Okay. Can you do it by March? March. March 5? Uh, yeah, yeah. Because that's actually, if we have that, that makes it the next Steam Camp. We're actually going again. Uh, well, more, well, more I think I think it's good to have a to have a, a you know a date out there because otherwise yeah. it could just keep slipping. Ah, but that I, th point. I think that should be plenty. Okay, okay, because we're gonna do. I'm gonna be in Hong Kong. I got invited there to the Space Camp thing. Uh, so we're gonna re run the Steam Camp from there. Uh, so yeah, if we, if we have the instructional that people can review beforehand and a lot of times it's like just getting the overview of, of the, yeah, of the build is really helpful. Yeah. Okay. So, so more, so more of like, uh, not like this screw goes here instructional, but like, uh, here's the overall process I would broken say down. Capture the overall. Yeah. Yeah. Capture the overall kind of thing. Uh, it would be good to have the detailed stuff, maybe like what you can do, how about this, do the, the overall instructional, like a quick one mm -hmm. that doesn't show the gory detail, because the gory detail is pretty long, but if you could get us B-roll on all the other steps, like such as you're capturing, like Michel, he'll, that's the leader, that's our guy, Michel mm -hmm. Dory from Belgium, from Ghent. He's going to be running it, and, and so obviously there's going to be explanations, and so he'll probably show, okay, here's how you build this. So if you can capture that kind of stuff and just give it to us as B-roll, we can just publish the raw stuff, you know? Cool. Well, I mean, yeah. my feeling is is uh, I'm just going to follow the tried and true process of always be shooting, and then... <laughs> We'll we'll do do our yeah. best to uh, package it up. Yeah, and I wouldn't. Uh, I would actually recommend not 4K, but 1080 or 720 HD. Yeah. How about that? Uh, that sounds great because I'm not shooting in 4K. I mean, I just have a good. you know a camera from whatever you know eight yeah. years ago that was pretty good, but that sounds good because I mean that 4K that gets crazy on the memory size. Now yeah. here's a, a thing: Can you upload it? like to either google drive or youtube raw raw stuff uh, yeah. if you want to like for the raw stuff that you have we actually publish that on youtube because if there's a remote uh editor that enables so this is once again the radical collaboration put it up on youtube as soon as you got it and then we can actually say hey we've got this awesome footage help us edit it so you don't have to take the burden for well yeah however you want me to uh to put it up there what's up? If, what's the what's the ways you have used have you done google drive or YouTube? oh yeah i mean google drive or you know and yeah really it's i'm, I'm pretty agnostic uh, uh whatever uh, go. onto the wiki that's a lot of i don't know if that's a thing or any assets that you have that um, yeah, I mean, I, but I'm happy to put it on YouTube if you're YouTube, fine with that. YouTube, yeah. man, just put it up you, right on YouTube. No, no worries. All uh, of the raw on stuff. YouTube, people are signing up. Basically, the video release, so that should be fine. And yeah, just put up. I would say put up the raw stuff on YouTube that you also have a backup. And but yeah, as far as if you could edit, if you could give us the service of editing the the overview build thing, that's you know relatively decent or fun to look at. Um, yeah, would that be good? Yeah, man, I'll do my best. Okay.
That sounds good. How'd you find out about OSC? Well, uh, I've been doing a lot of research and kind of social ecological resilience. Mm -hmm. I was going to go to grad school in Stockholm to study at the Stockholm Resilience Center. Mm -hmm. Kind of pivoted because I was feeling urgent and didn't really know where academia was going (laughs) because I, I feel like the problems are cultural, not technical per se. It's the capacity of our society and the relationships. And uh, there's a lot of hardware guys that work at my firm. Um, And I mean, just somewhere on the internet, basically. Mm -hmm. I think my friend was like, I was talking about going and building another earth ship in Colorado this summer. And he said, you should check out these guys in Missouri on the way. Mm -hmm. Um, So just via via really. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That sounds good. And, um, let's see what else. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think, I think that's about it. Um, do you have any other questions on what, what this is like? Or, oh yeah. First of all, how, how long would you stay the first four days? Or how? Well, right now I've, uh, I, I know that I can take Monday off. And, uh, if, if, if it's really feeling like there's a lot of value in staying on Tuesday, I could probably squeak it out. Um, but leaving late Monday back to Amsterdam is kind of what I'm feeling okay. is the, but it, you know, like I said, these, these bus tickets are 10 bucks. So it's not hard if like my boss is actually like, <laughs> or if I honestly, I'm my own boss, like they need me so bad. I kind of do what I want. So okay. <laughs> if, uh, if I, you know, if on Monday it's like shit, we really do want to capture this or this. I'll just okay. rock it. We can. But right, buy right, your... right now, that right now the plan is uh, Saturday morning to Monday night. Okay. If that's if that works for your. That's that's good. We'll capture the printer, the plotter, and then some of the Arduino stuff. So, so, yeah, it'll be great. The fir- the most important is the printer, just how how cool. that's built mm-hmm. on the first day. So that's good. Awesome. Awesome. Um, your company, so you do work on like visualizations, like is that? Uh, well, no. Uh, there's there's a lot going on in my firm. Actually, um, we're doing asset management is the biggest portion of it. So it's large batteries that we're parking at wind and solar farms. It's large facilities, kind of interacting with their building management systems and integrating kind of new data into the way that they're controlled. Um, there's a sensor cluster that we place in these facilities to kind of further optimize the heating and cooling of these facilities. Um, then there's a, a lot of consulting work surrounding microgrids in the Dutch context. Um, we built and installed 38 batteries on a, a project called Scone Skip, which is these basically these homes, houseboats, they're all behind one connection to the main grid and we're helping them do the accounting of the electricity trading they're doing with their, you know, their neighbors instead of putting the energy back on the grid. Um, I, I, I really like it. I think everybody's got a great vision, but more and more recently, I'm thinking that if it's not accessible, it's not revolutionary. And I'm seeing these things get tech is getting stacked and stacked and stacked and it just doesn't feel resilient Mm -hmm. to the, you know, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not trying to keep, I don't know if it's the blue or the red pill, but I really feel like in the next 30 years, unless I get my hands on some of my personal needs, then it's hard, it's hard to see how, how that changes anything. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, okay, we saved, you know, one of these facilities, we saved 50,000 euros in eight months on energy. And that's great. Like, but if we're feeding it into this real estate firm that's owned by Blackstone, it, you know, are they, is the rebound effect going to be larger than the savings we produced, you know? Uh, mm-hmm. But uh, th- these are luxury questions too. You know, it's yeah. incremental. It's incremental progress, not uh, not becoming a martyr, right? You do what you can where you can. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely in a practical way. Yeah, um, is any any of that open source or anything? Not no, is it? Ah, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a good question. Um, I mean, we use a lot of open source stuff, but I don't. I don't think anything we do is open source. Yeah. Uh, Did you ever bring it up to your boss? It's a, that's a good question. Um, so I guess 
I know that we've contributed on open source projects to okay. drive features in their systems that okay. we need. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a little bit of how we give back. Um, yeah. But uh, even in a company that seems like uh, kind of is trying to position themselves leading this transition, there it still seems pretty captured by the status quo business mentality. Yeah. Um, so it's you know, I, I don't I don't think we're definitely not a B Corp. Um, I think our goal is social impact, but it's not. You know, and a lot of this microgrid stuff is about people getting energy democracy. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's super cool. And there's a, there's a couple consulting gigs that have gone around social housing in various parts of the Netherlands and how to uh, develop them with the same kind of energy democracy in mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but making, at this point, open source stuff for, you know, a 10 megawatt battery. I don't know how, where that plays okay. in the DIY, in the DIY world. It's kind of okay. like, do you have eight wind turbines to play with, you know, in an OPC server? Like, I guess it could be open source. Well, not yet, but, but the news is that's a common. So, uh, we might beat them to it because if we do collaborative design, we'll get there. Okay. But yeah. anyway, um, yeah, so that's good. So yeah, to summarize, yeah, um, f footage. So I would say uh, just upload it to YouTube. That'll be perfectly okay. fine. Yeah. Do you, do you have the capacity to do that? Would you do it on your own channel? Uh, absolutely. Okay. And then we can like either download or just keep it there. Yep. Um, that's great. And then, yeah, otherwise, uh, and also the little fee I mentioned about just to cover the basic cost of 15 bucks per the day. Can you do that? Yeah, yeah, man. I mean, uh, I, I'm... I'm I'm willing to put a little skin in the game here and learn and contribute okay. and have fun. So that 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 would look, take the edge off of it, and I think it's it's awesome. super appropriate. Yeah, that's good. And so yeah, use the on the registration form. Just put that put that in there under the donate to OSE option and under the announcement. Oh, uh, sorry. So I should so I should register. Uh, it's not a it's not a formal registration. It's um it's a donate to OSC at let me show you right here um yeah it is under the registration but let me just send you the link direct there so there's the registration when you click on that oh, i'm sorry um sorry when you click on that yeah so, Oh, sorry, sorry, lost you there. I, I uh, clicked out by mistake. Yeah. So, um, did you get that link? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So do that. Uh, that's point one. Point two is upload to your YouTube channel. So just to be really clear, you want all the all of the clips, even if I deem some of them garbage. Um, what's garbage by your definition? Uh, something that uh, yeah, I guess it would just be my judgment of doesn't 
doesn't isn't uh, yeah, valuable like, content. Yeah, if just like, got, the, like no content and you got it elsewhere. Yeah, just <laughs> junk it. Um, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. If if you have it and it's like just redundant or not useful, just yeah, just junk it. Uh, uh, yeah, so I guess I'll just use my best judgment. I just don't want to host. You know, no need to stuff up these servers with like stuff the, the, the shooting the ground or right right it's too loud you can't hear anything or yeah yeah that's i think that's that's good uh i, I want to just make it that it's easy for you to do it so you don't have to think about it like yeah yeah i appreciate so, that so maybe like would then google drive be better yeah yeah i'm happy to i've got space on google drive i what mean is, i don't know if your, it would be ad infinitum you actually do if it's not not 4K, it's free space, I think. At least it is for me. Uh, but um, whichever is easy that you don't have to worry about getting it up there. Yeah. The, the main thing we want to do is like make sure people are not shy about just sharing it because if they are, then you don't do it and then it never ends up there and it becomes a pain. So whichever is easier, but I guess Google Drive, if it's easier to, to upload the copious stuff. Yeah. Or I, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy to do to do both. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm using this as a, a hobby project too to kind of like you know work on my editing, work on my ability to 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 capture and deliver some value from a, a good event. So yeah, in <laughs> fact, we're developing a YouTube remote collaboration protocol and video, which means you upload to YouTube and then you can share the actual. We use Caden Live. I don't know if you use that. Kid Live is an open source video editor, and you can actually package that. You can basically say, here's my project file and links to all the assets. And with that, a person can download the edit file, and you can share the editing. So we're trying cool. to develop that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks thanks for helping me get on board. What's it called? Kaden Live? Kaden Live. K-D-E-N. Kaden Live. Yeah. Is it yeah, I got it. Yeah. Yeah. That thing. So you just share a project file, and as long as you have links to the video assets, then a person can download them and put them right in and edit the same file because it has placeholders for all the clips. Cool. So as yeah, long as people out. can get their head around it, it's like a lowbrow way, like a hacked way to do collaboration. But if people can understand it, it's completely doable. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. So that's why we want to have access to a link where we can say, okay, here's the link. Like the YouTube gets you a real link. So yeah, I mean, you, you can drop it. a YouTube link into VLC and it'll stream it. So I'm sure it, it just yeah, works in a similar concept. Yeah. Yeah. So the main thing is just to have it available. So yeah. Yeah. So I will, uh, I will uh, drop a, a donation there yep. and then uh, book some of these, uh, some of these bus trips, and we'll uh, get groovy in Ghent. Awesome. Okay. Well, Liam, <laughs> thanks so much for your help. Yeah. And look forward to it. Yeah. Okay. So we'll talk to cool. you. Cool. Thanks for your time. Uh huh. Take care. Bye bye. Bye.